Welcome back. So I got invited to Le Mans by the Suzuki SEAT team for a full day testing. So obviously I jumped at that occasion and um, it was great to be back in Le Mans. Many, many great memories there. I love riding on that track and it was great as well to catch up with the SEAT team, which is the full factory Suzuki World Endurance team. Uh, we share the same box and we also share the track with all the guys from the World Endurance Championship. So I found myself with my standard JSXR Fares and R on track with all those race bikes. Uh, I got overtaken, I tried to follow some, I also ran out of talent. Uh, I also managed to uh, race and overtake some. So all in all, it was a great day and I'm gonna show you some images now of my onboard laps. So third team has a partnership with Yoshimura back in Japan. Uh, Yoshimura also puts a bike, a full factory bike for the eight hour of Suzuka, which is a bike that I ride, I've been riding for the last three years. So I was running a few Yoshimura parts on my bike today, my standard j 6 r So I had uh, the front brake lever guard, which is great, something that looks good and it's also great to have that on, on track. I also had some cosmetic stuff like um, the oil cap. I had the uh, uh, bobbins in the back, you know, for the rear stand, very, very good looking stuff. And I was also running the Rod Legal R11 slip-on. My bike is still pretty much standard. Uh, I still have this great big number plate in the back, uh, which is probably not great for top speed. Uh, it might be good actually for uh, rear downforce, you know, on braking, because it's that big, it, it, it will work like, a, like an air brake. Except from that, I have um, the all-in suspensions that I kept on from the test I did. You can find a link just up there for that. Uh, because I've really enjoyed riding with the suspension. So this is still on the bike. And uh, for that day though, because I didn't want to get thrashed too much by the race bikes, I also have some slicks on the bike. Right, so let's go. So this is the exit of uh, the Dunlop Chicane and then down to La Chapelle now. And so I'm on my road bike here with the slicks, all in suspensions, and that's it. I've got the mirrors, the number plate, and just everything standard. Catching here, somebody with a, I think it looks like a Suzuki, a super stock or something like that. I don't know who the rider is, unfortunately. Um, so that was nice to be able to, you know, fight with them and, uh, and have some fun, really. <laughs> I think there must have been uh, like some weird faces if, uh, when I came past with the big, that big number plate. <laughs> See, the stock bike, I mean, it's plenty quick enough, but that's in the straight, I'm not losing anything. And I can pass him on the brakes. The rear is completely locked there, though, so I'm missing the apex. Chemin au bout, left, right, and then accelerate strong. And then some guys are going to come past in a minute. Show me how it's done. <laughs> this is the uh, S Blue. And then we're going to go into the last double right, which is the raccordement, so quite a slow corner. Now, here I've got the standard gearing, I still have the standard chain and standard uh, sprockets so the bike is quite lazy in second gear like I was in between gears here bit long now watch this that's the factory Kawasaki coming past so the world champion world champion bike with David Shekambo so turn one the fast one I don't lose so much I'm a bit wide here so this is compromising my exit now I'm gonna lose time now yeah you could hear the electronics of the his bike so I've lost, I've lost some there. Um, I'm coming in quite strong here. There's not a massive difference. He's pulling away a bit. Um, obviously, he's on slick as well. This is a full-on factory bike. Now breaking for Musée. I'm still not too far, and I'm going to lose it in a bit. <laughs> I didn't crash, but I just came here way too fast. Uh, everything is locked up there, so I just have to go straight. That's it. That's me running out of talent. I tried everything I could to stay with him, but <laughs> they were the factory bikes were about two to three seconds faster, two and a half seconds faster around the man on that day uh, compared to me. So not a massive difference, but obviously when they come past like that, it's just it's just nothing you can do. Saying that, the two and a half seconds, by like, compared to the road bike, was I mean still a really small difference. So I'm catching that lad again. Um, yeah, there I'm gonna let, um, this is the factory Suzuki bike coming past. So this is, I think it looks like red-black. I think it's Greg, yeah, looks like him. 
same again really fast. I lose a lot on the corner exit because of that long gearing. Now I have all to like use that, that power because the second gear is, is really too long and the first gear was really too short. Such a nice corner did a did a turn up curve. So I'm catching my mate again. And I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna have a, somebody else is gonna come up in a minute, I'm gonna have a bit of a fight. engine. This looks like a super stock bike. It is definitely a Suzuki. It's got the standard swing arm, I can see it. Yeah, so I've got him into a musée. And now another rider is going to come past. So this is a super stock bike. And uh, this is Clément one of the young lads that race for Suzuki Seat. Clément Stoll is called. Quick, quick lad, he does the French Championship, Superbike, and so he races in the World Underweight Championship with a junior team Suzuki Seat. So he's on board a, a super stock. And now I'm really, really pushing out to try and stay with him. He's pushing out as well because he's trying to show me the way. <laughs> he's trying to show me how he's done. <laughs> Um, but I'm going to stay with him for a bit. Yeah, yeah, we're both both pushing really hard. This is this is really nice. I really enjoy riding with him. It's great. Let's see how he's pulling it just a little bit on the axle, the out, like coming out the corners. Then engine-wise, I mean the stock bike is unbelievable. I've got the exhaust here, the Yoshimura exhaust, but it's just a slip on and it's. It doesn't really bring, it's a broad legal thing, so it looks a lot better, but it's not a lot of performance in it. Yeah, he's pushing it. He's running, he's running wide here. Yeah, running wide, pushing too much. That's it, I got you, mate. <laughs> this was so good. So yeah, you see with the stuck bag, I mean, he's riding out here and he's not, he's just not going away. So. Yeah, the road bike with the sleeks, you gain a lot of grip, you know, with the sleeks. And then suddenly the oil and suspension as well, they start to make sense because everything clicks on together. Oh, he's running, yeah, he's run out there. He's run out road. <laughs> so that's it, now it's for me to lead now. And now I'm going to push super hard to try and lose him. I don't think I'm losing him, uh, but I'm going to do some, uh, some fast time. Yeah, the rear is locked here again. I've just managed to bring it back. So here's second gear, third, down to second again for S Blue. Such a good corner here. All this section in second gear. And second gear here, but you can hear I'm missing the apex here. Oh, super wide on the curb. By the way, this um, like map and all the lap times and stuff and dies, this is done with a race chrono pro, the app. So I just put my GoPro footage into it and then just exported this so I could show it to you with the lean angle and that. I haven't looked at the lean angle yet. Let's have a look at uh, maximum lean angle, 50, 50, 52, 50. Yeah, 52 degrees, so I mean, there's some leaning there. So on the top right is the time difference. So you see my previous lap time, which was my best, was a 140.1 at the top. And on the top right, you got, so I'm minus 0 0.10. So this is, I, I am like faster, like a tenth and a bit faster than my best time of this run. My best lap of the day was a 135.9. So, this lap is actually a 39. It's not the fastest, but it's a 39 track. I'll let you listen to the bike and be quiet for a bit.
that's it. They didn't care. I don't know why he didn't register the last lap time. It was a like a, a high 39, 39 seven or something like that. So yeah, great, great fun. Great to mix it up with the, the racing boys and yeah, just with the suspension basically and the sleeks. Um, we are really close to a super stock bike and uh, I'm going to soon take the weight off the bike and um, make it into a bit more of a race animal like step by step. So keep in, keep in touch and uh, keep watching guys.